and let's look at the budget versus actual report which is a great report as time is passing to see what is happening and your comparative comparison to what you expected to happen so we're going to say budget versus actual budget versus actual and so there we have that and so now if this is a quite long report if we're running it for the entire year because it's getting our budget versus the actual for each month of the year now we only have two months that we have actual data in it january we've got the actual versus the budget and the uh overview and then we've got february and then of course we had a little bit of data in march and then in april we don't have any actual data so for us as we run this it would be it would make sense for us to run it for the first two months possibly so we're going from uh 010123 to 022823 and then we could run it and that's our standard report I'm going to tr pull out the trusty calculator just to see some calculations here so now we've got our january data february and then it gives us the total this is similar if we were to run an income statement kind of like on a on a on a side by on a month by month basis as we did here so now you've got january february and then the total year to date so that's how the the uh budget is is set up so if we do a comparison here we've got the actual we've got the budget and then we've got the over budget so i'm going to take the 53857 minus the 34606 and that's where we're coming up with the 19251 uh, which of course is the budget uh which is the over budget and then we've got the percent of the budget the percent of the budget is taking the 53 53 857 divided by the budgeted amount 34606 so the actual amount if i move the decimal two places over about 155.63 uh, percent of the budget because the actual was over the budget and then you can do that for the expenses and so on uh, on down below as well so you have a couple other options up top we of course have the date range options that we looked at we don't have the same kind of comparative options once again because this is the comparative report comparing the budget which we manually input versus the actual which is what we built when we entered the data input for past data two months in our example problem having been passed at this point in time you've got the same kind of thing where you have the active cells uh rows versus all or zero and so on and then we've got these items where you can see the the default is to have the over budget and the percent of budget but you can also have uh you might choose instead of these two to to show it this way so this is kind of a matter of preference so now you've got the amount remaining so so and so now you've got a negative number here uh for the amount remaining so in other words if i was to hit this again and i was to say uh, over budget so we can see both of them so you've got the amount remaining let's see run it running so now you've got the over budget amount remaining so you can see it either way you want to you want to see it and then over here we've got the uh, remaining amount versus if I hit both of them these are just basically taking the inverse kind of relationship here so let's run this again so now you've got the percent of budget and the amount remaining so let's pull off the trusty calculator and just take a look at this if we scroll down we've got the actual the budget the over budget and the amount remaining are the same number it's just the difference between the actual and the budget it's just which ones are you subtracting from which one making it negative or positive the percent of budget let's take a look at this one which is just basically looking at i'm looking at the uh, total income that's just going to take the actual which is over the budget right now so five three eight five seven divided by the budget which is three four six oh six and that's where we get this this number that's over you know a hundred percent which is the 155.63 because the actual is higher than the budget the amount remaining the percent remaining is taking the difference so we'll take the remaining item which is negative because the actual was over the budget so we don't have anything remaining from the budget side of things and you this might feel a little bit different when we do income accounts versus expense accounts but we're going to say all right so this is going to be the difference of the 19251 
divided by the budget of 34606. Moving the decimal two places over, there's our 55.63 about and so on. So that's the general idea. So notice that you probably wouldn't have both of these items, you know, the over budget and the amount remaining since they are somewhat redundant. And you probably wouldn't want both of these percentage items as well, choosing one line or the other. The default, as we saw, is to have these top ones over budget and percent of budget. Let's see the other side just having the bottom two and run that. <clears throat> Make sure I run it. So, so there it is. So there's the budget versus actual. And you can run it. You could take a look at the total numbers on the right hand side as well. So that is that. The two budget reports being the budget versus actual and the budget overview 